Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be trying the Coco Kind Silk SPF. This product retails for $25. So Coco Kind has made some of my favorite skincare products I've tried on this channel. This is a new sunscreen from Coco Kind and they actually taught me something on their Instagram that I found very interesting. They have done research on SPFs and their impact to the coral reef. Ever since I've known about skincare, it's always been a thing where you want to go with mineral filters unless you want to cause more damage to coral reefs. I was scrolling through Instagram one day and they posted that all sunscreen filters are actually damaging to coral reefs, but there is not enough evidence to show how much damage is being done, which I found very interesting because I've always looked for mineral filters for that specific reason. It was kind of eye-opening to me. I was like, wow, this is new information. And that's just further proof that skincare is a constant changing field. I learned something new from this product. This is a mineral and chemical filter sunscreen and they have justified their answer as to why they are doing a chemical sunscreen as well as a mineral sunscreen and it really changed my perspective on everything. I, like I said, I'll leave some of the research that they have done in the description because I actually read through some of the articles and it was very interesting. You can educate yourself on that and just kind of make your own judgment with it. I have used both chemical and mineral sunscreens and I've just always tried to go mineral, but my mind has opened up. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlighted sunscreen filters in this product include zinc oxide and homosalate. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. With sunscreens, there's a lot that I look for because I feel like the sunscreen is the most important step in the skincare routine. One, does it leave a white cast? I am a very pale person, as you can tell. I'm looking extra pale today and I don't know what that's for, but if a sunscreen leaves a white cast on me, more than likely it will leave a worse white cast on someone who has darker skin than me. That is always something that I look for with sunscreens. Since the sunscreen does have both chemical and physical filters, it could leave a little bit less of a white cast than a 100% mineral sunscreen. I do kind of want to compare this sunscreen to their mineral sunscreen because I have tried that. I know that this sunscreen is supposed to be a little bit more hydrating. I do want to find out what type of finish does it leave on the skin. I know sometimes sunscreens can also pill. I did read a couple of reviews of this product online. Most of them are really great, but there were just a couple of reviews that said it did pill, so I will just be looking out for that. The final thing I'm looking for is, does this cause acne? Sunscreen is known for being one of the top reasons why I end up breaking out. I usually try not to branch off too far from the sunscreens that I'm used to using. This sunscreen does say it is safe for blemish-prone skin, so I will just be looking to see if I get any new breakouts from it or if it clogs my pores. Other than that, if I notice anything else with this product, I'll let you all know. I will be continuing to do check-ins, so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product and also use it for the very first time on camera. This is actually the third day that I have used this product. The first day that I used it, I noticed that it is a very lightweight sunscreen. It does leave a little bit less of a white cast than their original mineral sunscreen. And so I do feel like that this sunscreen would be better for darker skin, especially compared to their first release of a sunscreen. Only thing about this product that I am not liking so far is it did peel the first couple of days that I used it. I would just lightly touch my face and I would feel the product start to come off. And and then when I looked in the mirror, I would see like this whole side of my face, the product was completely peeling off. I did look on Coco Kind's website and they were responding to a few of the reviews that were saying that it was peeling and they said to let your moisturizer and your other skincare products sink in for a little bit longer. And so I did do that today to try to see if that did help anything. I will apply it on camera and if I notice 
notice it peeling, I'll try to take photos. It is a lightweight sunscreen and I like how it goes on at first, but the peeling is just something that I'm not the biggest fan of. It's only the third day I've used it. I'm going to try out some different things with sunscreen and see if it's just how I'm applying this product or if it's just how this product is acting. So here is the product. It has the same exact packaging as their original sunscreen, but this one is just purple and I love the color of this. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. This sunscreen is also a little bit runnier than their original. It definitely has a lighter weight texture. Their first sunscreen didn't leave too bad of a white cast, but this one definitely leaves a little bit less of a white cast. So as you can see, it blends in very nicely and it also leaves a very nice hydrating finish to the skin. It just leaves a nice glow to the skin. This is a very good sunscreen, especially right off application. I will see if it peels up any after this check-in because I did let my product sink in a little bit longer than I normally do. So I'm going to use the product for just a little while longer and then I will check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So I did get to use this product for about a week and a half. After the last check-in, I continued doing the method of allowing my moisturizer to sink in a little bit longer than I normally would, and I didn't experience any more pilling after that check-in. I'm wearing the sunscreen right now, and I was going to take photos if it did pill again, but luckily I did find something that personally worked for me that stopped the pilling. What I ended up doing was applying my moisturizer and then brushing my teeth and then applying this sunscreen. I found that to be the perfect method for me. I didn't experience any pilling after I started using that technique and so that's what personally worked for me with this product. I would definitely try it if you try out this product and you start experiencing pilling with it. The first two times I was just applying a moisturizer and then going in directly after and not allowing my moisturizer to fully sink in before applying the sunscreen. I also love the finish of the sunscreen. It is a little bit more of a hydrating finish than their mineral sunscreen. I didn't experience any white cast on me personally. I do feel like it is a lot lighter than the mineral sunscreen with the white cast. And I do feel like that's a big reason why they released this product. After the peeling stopped, I didn't find any issues with this sunscreen and I do feel like it is a great option if you're looking for a hybrid chemical and mineral sunscreen that is a little bit more hydrating. It provided a great level of protection against the sun and it felt fairly lightweight on the skin. I feel like the added hydration ingredients with this makes this sunscreen very unique and I understand why it's called a silk SPF because truly my skin does feel very silky. It feels very smooth and it didn't cause any new acne, especially Especially after trying to wait just a little bit longer between the moisturizer and applying this product, this sunscreen really took a full 180 for me. I was worried that it was going to be a sunscreen that peeled a lot. So bottom line is I do feel like this is a great option for an SPF. Personally for me, I found it to be a little bit better when I waited to apply this product after my moisturizer for a couple of minutes. Like I said, brushing my teeth was the perfect amount of time. I didn't experience peeling after I I started doing that. If you are experiencing pilling with this product after you try it, and I would recommend trying that out. That personally worked for me, and I'm glad that I took Coco Khan's advice on that. I feel like this is a great option, especially if you're looking for a hydrating yet pretty lightweight sunscreen. And I feel like it would be a great option for normal to dry skin, but if you are more on the oily side, it may not be the best option for you just because it is a very hydrating sunscreen. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this review. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.